Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another makeup video. We had a bit of a break because of Bakra Eid and well, the Corona situation, but we're back with filming more. I have this stunning Minahil with me today. She is the owner of TMC. I'm pretty sure everybody watching is a member, the Mummy Club. Uh, she also runs now a YouTube uh, channel as well and she has a talk show and she runs the group and she has like a website. So Minahil, you're like a multitasker. How does it feel to do all of that with two children, mashallah? <laughs> as crazy as it sounds yeah absolutely. yeah just absolutely crazy yeah but you yeah. you're one of those women who makes it happen right yeah so today what i'm going to do in the video is show you guys how we're going to transition a day look into a night look so we're going to start with something that minahil would most probably not wear in the day this is more like staged because we're doing a youtube video but we'll do a more fun look for the day and then we're going to take it into a look for night where she'll wear this stunning sari so let's get started minahil has this gorgeous golden color i had done her wedding events once upon a very long time back and uh, i remember one of the things i remember while working on her skin was that i really wanted to enhance her really uh, beautiful skin color which is something that we don't do enough of in this country because everybody wants to be white right so I'm just going to spray now the oxygen water by Co Natural because a lot of like a dewy skin has a lot to do with prep so I'm also putting it on the shoulders anytime you show any skin and that's something maybe I haven't addressed in my past videos but you must make sure that you also kind of any glowy stuff you're doing on the face must happen on the shoulders etc the chest if you're showing whatever area you're showing uh, so it continues and it's not like a shiny face and then like a dry kind of shoulder you know chest situation so just spraying another liberal spritz there I've just got my nails done yesterday after I think years and uh, I want to see how I actually do makeup with these nails because I'm so used to short nails but till now it's been pretty okay. So just covering her lid, making sure we're blending that into her eyelid well. Yeah, I mean that's, I was very, yeah, I was a little concerned that clients so you know when I'm doing makeup I hate it like one of the things I tell everybody while doing makeup is that your the person you're doing makeup on should want to just sleep like it shouldn't hurt it shouldn't be pulling uh, you know at the eye or hurting the client um, that's very very important I'm just taking some cork eyeshadow and I'm just filling in her brows very softly because in the end I'm gonna properly go over them again so right now I'm just giving her she already has a great brow so just giving her light definition here. So how old are your babies, Minahil? Um, one is six, and the other is now four. Mashallah, mashallah. And how does it feel to have like that age? I guess at any age, kids are a handful. Huh? Yeah, but this age is kind of a little bit more fun. Okay. Um, you know, because they're asking you questions, and sometimes uh -huh. you're like, "How did you?" Where Figure that out. <laughs> yeah, nowadays kids are so smart. Yeah, smart yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like a dud. I remember till the longest time, what was I doing? Because my mother's like, you were so docile and so quiet, like, you know. And nowadays, like, my little six year old cousins is like, you're not doing your phone right, like, your phone is not set to the right. And where are your widgets? I'm like, how do you know what a widget is? Like, what's happening, right? Oh, my, definitely. They have a lot more awareness. And whatever we did when we were, let's say, 13, they're doing on their sex. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I'm just taking some dip down on my brush, gel liner. Just going to make the base of our eye very softly. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I use these as my base for pretty much everything. So, and I want to do like a, like I said, a colored eye on her. So, you're not going to really see the color that I'm applying on a lid, but it adds like a good base to hold on to whatever color it is that we'll apply on top. Now I'm gonna take my Tati Beauty palette and I'm gonna take this particular color from it. It's like a sandy light brown. Just gonna go over the edges very softly. So another thing with Minahil I feel is you don't wanna overcrowd the face with too much makeup. I think she generally is naturally pretty and then i think with everybody i feel it's nicer to do something softer if you're allowed like half the times i'm not allowed when i have clients because i feel a lot of people now like a lot a lot more makeup not realizing that the softer kind of makeup is better any day just gonna blend that on her eyebrow 
not eyebrow sorry just her brow bone is what I wanted to say so I'm just blending that and now I'm going to come in with my color so I'm going to go in with in the shadows by Mac and it's this can you see this really striking blue and she has blue in that like a scarf top that we've made her wear so now I'm going to take my brush and this is just an app, eyeshadow applicator by Mac and I'm going to kind of start building color on her socket and actually whenever I've seen Minahil I've seen her with really soft like barely there makeup so I'm excited to put this kind of like strong color on her eye because I know it's something that she doesn't do herself you're not a like a makeup makeup person like no, that no I was right? going to say I think this would be the first time you've ever put electric blue on your eye absolutely I think anybody who does my face also then just stays in the pretty neutral and the, the gold the brown orange yeah. beach and I'm going to do, I mean, that is, I mean, ideally on a daily basis, that is what you should stick to. But then every now and then you have someone call you for a makeup video on YouTube and you're like, okay, let's have some fun. Let's put blue. Yeah. Open. Close again. And she has these amber colored eyes, so it's going to highlight that feature as well. Because I was going to ask, like, say if I did want to opt for color. So you see, you have a very golden tone of skin so what ends up happening is that you can actually really play a lot with color because they'll shine really beautifully on your skin so mm -hmm. if I'm doing blue on a very fair fair toned person what ends up happening is it looks a little scary because the contrast is too high but when you have someone with golden skin uh, the great thing is that the contrast it works because the color actually pops a lot more um, on that skin tone which is why you have like say a Beyonce looking stunning in pretty much anything she ends up doing because that tone of skin is so gorgeous mm -hmm. uh, that makeup just and it doesn't look it doesn't look like it's taking over the face it's a fun thing to do so I, I would say pretty much any color as long as you play it like that's some serious myth busting right yeah, there yeah okay yeah so here a lot of people end up thinking that it's actually the lighter skinned people that can get away with makeup. They actually don't get away with a lot of makeup because everything close, everything shows on their skins too much. So um, that is a myth. So I feel like the golden, golden toned skins can really absorb makeup. It also looks more modern, you know. It doesn't read too much. It can actually look great. So on, your, on you, I would go like kind of crazy. You could do any color. I'm just going to add some brown in her waterline and I think a lot of us are also scared of doing anything out of the box right we're so used to doing our face a certain way and I'm a big believer that you should generally play with the neutrals because you know on a daily basis you don't want to be walking around with blue eyeshadow yeah. I get that uh, but I think every now and then the fun thing about makeup is you can really just go to town with it as well right so I'm just taking some of this blue from my mothership palette it's like this pearlescent blue, so my Pat McGrath Mothership palette on my pencil brush and I'm applying it right just on her lower lash line. And another thing you realize on TV, color or any kind of video, color really looks beautiful. So my grandmother used to say this, my mother says it to me as well, wear color. Like when I'm doing videos and all, she'll be like, why are you wearing something darker? Because color actually reads very pretty um, on video and dull colors don't necessarily read very well. So for your nighttime look, I'm also going to go more bronzy. But for the daytime, I wanted to show how you could also do color and have some fun with it. And I'm going to go back in with the brown that I used from the Tati palette. And the edges where we have the blue ending, I'm just going to blend those softly with the brown to make them less harsh because we want it to look blended. So do you usually wear eyeliner? I don't really see you wear eyeliner either. No. It's just a mascara, right? You're, you're right. Absolutely. No. Yeah. No, and on your eye, again, it's nicer actually without liner. Because my eyes like that so too. Tiny, I don't know where to put the liner <laughs> and where to take it to. Cute. Yeah. Just so I just... In with my blue again. Uh, but my eye is actually very similar. So when I put eyeliner, it loses... It's also not about eyes being small and big. It's about this, I think, the structure. Okay. Um, whenever I put on eyeliner, my eye space looks lesser. So one of the things I do is I love shadow and then just mascara and I feel that is more flattering 
on most eyes and more modern looking than, um, than eyeliner. So I'm going to go back in with this blue now, open when I have, and I'm also going to apply this slightly in the inner corner, just highlighting. And what I love about Pat Grath eyeshadows, I know a lot of people say they're too expensive, etc., whatever, but the color payoff, especially with shimmers, is insane. So I've just added that a little bit, again, to make it seem more, you know, like we're having fun. Because color and shimmer can also go into a very different territory if it's not handled well. So we want to keep this modern looking like she's having fun with her eye. So now before going ahead, like I said, on someone like Mina Hill with her eye shape. And this is why when you're watching YouTube videos, there's a lot to learn. I would not do a conventional eyeliner. Because I feel like it would take away from this looking modern. And it would also make it seem like her eyes were closing up. So I'm going to actually take these baby wispies by... Ardell. I'm going to first just measure them on her eye. So I'll add wow, some drama. Baby wispies. Baby so they're like really soft because again with your eye I wouldn't put like a mega lash. Because yeah, okay. So they're by Ardell and they're like really soft. I'll just show them to you. So either on you I would do individual lashes or I would do something very very soft yeah. like because I often don't wear lashes for the exact reason. Reason, yeah. I you wanna, because you have to end up getting lashes that look down, open. So I'm just right now seeing how they're gonna look, open. So if you see in the mirror as well, can you see? Yeah. They're very belly there, but it immediately adds some drama. So if you see this compared to that eye, and if you look straight into the camera as well, you'll notice that even though it still looks like she's very much in that like no eyeliner territory but it's already making her eye look more finished so i'm going to cut this just a bit just a bit for her eye and one of the things that we really want to create with this eye is some really fresh non cakey dewy skin for it to again look very modern okay so that's what we're going to do next after we apply these lashes so i'm taking some huda beauty dark blue i'm applying it on these baby wispies now when i have learned something in this yeah. tutorial as well by Ardell. Yeah, by Ardell. And you should stock up on these because you like these as lashes. Or then you can do individual, because individuals know, are yeah, hard. We have to put on the lashes. Yeah, also, yeah. I, will, I will. Open and look down. Open. Down. Of all the looks that I did in Minahil, I'm going to try to find them so we can put them apart. I mean, I remember your Nika look I liked the most. It's my favorite to date. Yeah, I think that was the one that I could post even today and be like, okay, I loved it. Yeah. Um, I think trends change otherwise. Uh, that one has remained your favorite. My favorite. That was the, I think that was the best one for yeah. sure. I'm just taking my brown again. I'm just going to blend that again slightly just to see if any area is unblended, especially in the corners. Now I'm going to leave her eye alone for a minute because eyes tend to get a little watery after you put on lashes and I'm going to start with her skin. So I'm just going to wipe under her eyes because the one issue with color in general is that it tends to, if it drops somewhere and then it's going to make a mess when you apply foundation. So this I love, these are just air buds, I put cleanser on them. This also makes life easier when you're trying to go near eye and eyes and stuff and clean. So I'm just cleaning like that. I always close. Sometimes when you look at me, I'm always doing this. I'm always <laughs> like, you look, data, you look like you're retarded. What are you doing? <laughs> one eye thing. Yeah, I don't know why I started doing that. I tried to prefer one eye. I guess the joys of getting older or something. So now I'm going to take some Dior. I just got these and I'm dying to use them. And these are supposed to be amazing. The Dior 001 Universal. These are the glow drops, okay? And I want her skin to look really nice and glowy. So I'm going to add that and i'm going to use some naked skin foundation in 51 wy and 50 wy and 40 wy so i've mixed three colors with this glow so on this shoulders etc also like i said any chest that's showing because you want everything to match yeah, this one is super important. People don't realize, realize that, that everything, we, has, yes, to everything look. has to be and everything is covered. Yeah. And 
But a lot of times you end up exactly, yeah, yeah, so much, my God. Even where uh, uh, like actresses and all are concerned, a lot of people would be like, her body skin is perfect and you're like, they all put makeup everywhere. Like it has to go up everywhere for everything to look matchy matchy and you know. Yeah one tone so just taking now the foundation and I'm going to blend it into her skin just taking my stippling brush turn this side now and keep your eyes shut don't forget ears they also need to have foundation because we're also doing this for video and to be photographed, etc. Even otherwise, even when you're going out, some people, I notice that ears are a completely different shade and tone to the rest of the face. But also remember, um, when lights, uh, when you take pictures, makeup areas tend to reflect light and makeup free areas tend to absorb light that's why you get that weird like chest looking different situation even if it's not looking different in reality it starts to look different otherwise so i'm just taking my now beauty blender and just going over the areas of the face look up so now i'm gonna go in with my nw 45 and I'm going to start warming up her skin immediately because I, I want this to kind of melt into her foundation and I want it to be a strong contour. Applying it to her cheekbones and her jaw area and just blending that out. Turn this side now. So how did Mummy Club come about? Like, what was the reason? Um, we were, uh, I think there was very, there were very few places then online that, that were accepting all kinds of uh, women. Okay. You didn't have to be a mother to be a part of it. At oh, time. nice. And I knew a lot of people who weren't mothers, who wanted to be mm. but weren't mothers, but were the best sound colors I had known, you know, and knew a lot more than most uh, mums mums even knew. So we kind of just made it um, at 1 a.m. one night and... Uh, it's become a huge deal now, yeah. I think you added me on it and I, uh, I wasn't a mom at that, like at that time I was pregnant, I think, or a little before I was pregnant. Yeah. But there's so much I like pick up from there, like even if you're not engaging with the posts, it's someone will respond to something, someone will share something and there's so much to learn, right? No, you know the main thing I thought My favorite are the anonymous. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> anonymous posts. Because it's, you know, I've used that system. Yeah. And it's because and it's, it's like a nobody safe knows space. who it is. It is, yeah. And sometimes I, I have more than once used it, you know, just to kind of vent. Vent. And I know a lot, of, a lot of women do it for just that. And how lovely, right? Because you can just, and, and there's so many things that I've read there, but I'm like, okay, yes. Yes. This happens in society and it's not just about... But they finally don't have to trust anybody yeah. else to tell that, right? Yeah. So then they're very unfiltered stories, yeah. very unfiltered uh, details and feelings. And that's what we were discussing right before we were getting ready yeah. right now when your hair was being done. That there's so much that needs to be said on platforms about the reality of our situation and it's not all like fairies and storks butterflies and, and roses, butterflies. Yeah. It's not. It's that plus... Uh, you know, uh, scary stuff as well, which is fine, you know, and we need to be a little more accepting of that um, and not be like, no, don't talk about it or, you know, usual, yeah. yeah, or be, you're being not shukri or don't say that in front of people. Um, I think that is oh, also, is that yeah, and it's so annoying because you're like, I'm not, I, I'm very grateful. Yeah, I am grateful. I didn't say, say that, but I do, I'm not necessarily only grateful all the time right absolutely and I'm human and I think that's really important to say so I'm now just mixing some of the 50 WY NW 45 concealer and some of my almond by Bond this way the foundation was by urban naked skin right so I'm going to take it on a eye blending brush and now apply that on her under eye I'm going to take my smaller beauty blender should one buy these or no? These are really uh, 
great actually so beauty blender is one of those things i tell everyone to buy cuz your makeup becomes like so well, much like easier smallest one i like I it for wanted- under the eye Do you think it's for home yeah. or professional? I mean, I'm trying to say, to be honest, I don't see you wearing so much makeup that so, you would. Yeah. yeah. But if you do get into concealer, at any but point, if you feel you applying more concealer than general, then, then for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. because they really uh, help, and they don't. You know, the bigger one can sometimes go into your own makeup. Like you'll be applying something, and you'll be like, oh god, yeah, it's too separate. big. Stuff. Yeah. Like, and this is like easier. So yeah, yeah, I can't do without them. But for the regular person who is not yeah. wearing tons of makeup, you, you can, can skip yeah, it. you can skip it. And if you just get a regular beauty blender, I'm sure you yeah. have a regular one, or no? That I do have. That yeah. you do have. I'm just going around this area, making sure that that has some concealer there as well. So one of the places that people tend to forget, especially when you're doing coloured eyes, etc., is this area. And a lot of times there's either just no makeup here. or you can actually see the lines of where the makeup is meeting skin so you want to make sure you blending and just take a eye blending brush a clean eye blending brush i'm just using that to clean up here so just look in the mirror again and then you'll see that you know it's an interesting effect to have is to just do like a really color ever done otherwise yeah my whole life so um and who knows if you'll ever do it again but it's going to be on video for you to look back at some point and be like oh yeah we had some fun with there. a complete detail to go yeah. <laughs> yeah i could do it again yeah but like i said 95% of the time you're going to stick to what works and that's, that's what i said always tell women on even at your weddings please stick to what works for you 24/7 hardly the time to experiment but people you know? do they say no but i do this all the time but can you do something different but i'm like this is the time for you to make sure you're not doing anything different this and you're nice. sticking to what really works because people will come and say nahi wo to main karti hu par aaj main like I want a side parting when you've never made one why are you risking it on your wedding like it doesn't make sense that now, by the way. Yeah just no stick to yeah the day of an event, of an event. absolutely look down so I'm taking some dip down now I'm not going to take liquid liner because like I said I don't want to do that look on her I'm just taking some dip down and blending where the eyelash glue meets the I shadow but in a really soft blended way right so now we're going to take some powder and just go under her eyes so I'm not going to apply it for the rest of her face she's got actually pretty good and normal skin it's not I mean from what I can see mean I how do you have what, what kind of skin do you generally feel do you have it's yeah. just normal skin right so I don't want to pack in too much powder everywhere cuz she tend you know her skin will is generally stable so now we're going to go ahead and just line her lips and I'm going to apply spice lip pencil So now I've applied Fenty's uncuffed all over her lip it's like a darker base and I'm going to make it slightly now nude so I'm going to use kind of sexy by mac stretch in her like you're smiling yeah So love this color again one of those cult colors that I use a lot of and for those who don't know I was a mac makeup artist for a few years So a lot of my favorites happen to be by Mac and they take me back to when I was like working on the counters working as a makeup artist being like you know just a makeup obsessed kid um so yeah this is one of those colors that's really versatile you can wear it by itself and then it looks really cool layered also just look him and I'll smile again It's just going to blend that So now we've applied that kind of sexy like I said and now I'm going to go back in her eye look up and just freshen up that dip down right and we're going to bump up a little bit of that pat mcgrath color cut and I'm going to go in with my mascara now I love mascara Makeup, I've even yeah, even on your pictures, I see that that's the main like focus of the makeup, right? I feel it immediately makes you look nice. Yeah, your eyes look pretty, and you look like more awake. So I love mascara. That's the one product that is yeah, you're right. The main feature of yeah, my eye look. Yeah, at the same time because 
like I said, you've done color. You want to balance it. You don't want it to go into territory which is like. No, no, no. You want to keep them like softer, right? So I'm also going to do her lower lash because she has like you've got long like lashes naturally also. So I'm going to accentuate her lower lash a little bit here, right? And I'm going to now apply some Pat McGrath highlighter. And I'm going to apply the gold tone on her skin. So I'm going to start by applying it actually on her shoulder and collarbone, both her shoulders here. So that ideally when she's actually walking around, everyone's like, ah, oh, everything is nice and glowy. So smile. Uh -huh. So the highlighter, we're going to stick to kind of keeping to this kind of almost C structure. So look this way again. So it's going to be the side and then this higher cheekbone. So where the light hits her naturally and makes her look nice and just glowy. Just a little bit on the tip of the nose because she has skin that's normal, produces no oil. So this would only be for those lucky few. Otherwise, we will avoid the highlighting of the nose. I'm going to take some NARS Deep Throat Blush now. Smile. And apply it to the apples of her cheeks. Look this side now here, smile again. Right, I'm gonna go in now and with a stronghold spray. So we're gonna use this hairspray, freeze hairspray. This is another trick I like to use on For an eyebrow brush. brush. Yeah. Oh, that's this. Yeah, love it, yeah. Because I have big brows. Yeah. I needed to learn this three years ago. <laughs> Otherwise, it, <laughs> was a, it. it was a mess. mess. Yeah, yeah, it was a mess. Thick brows, even for me. I learned it along the way and I know eyebrow gel would keep them in place so no. the spray is a great and it's also great to kind of feather. I don't like the plastered like Instagram feather brow look. I feel it looks like all you can see then is just eyebrows. So what I like about doing it with the spray is that it's a more natural way and then you just kind of comb through like I am right now. Somebody taught me to put a uh, setting spray but like so you take your brow brush mm -hmm. and you, you put on, on like near a pair of soap and then you spray it. So yeah. you use pair of soap and setting. So that's like a hack for the feathered brow, okay. you know. But now they have so many, like they have soap I brows. Have really, and uh, pairs back. And Anani said, what are you doing? No, no, no. You have soap brows and you have so many products. Now Anastasia Be Beverly Hills now has like a freeze brow or something like that. So they have a lot of I products for it. So if not, guys, pear soap can also work with the setting spray. It it's a hack. I'm just applying some. Exactly. No, but you do. I think you, yeah, do, you do, right? Um, I'm getting Huda. I'm using now Huda Beauty's Angel Egg Gloss just in the center, very lightly, just to add a little sheen, but not like it shouldn't look like that actual color. Just for a little sheen in the center, because the rest of her face and body is glowing as well. I want to have a slightly more glossier. Lip. It's so funny, I keep looking at my hands and thinking it's someone else's because I haven't had no. acrylics in so long. So it's let's... Fun to do it's still odd, like I guess you get used to it, but so many makeup artists have such long nails abroad. Like Nikki, I, uh, the tutorials, I love her makeup, but she has these long nails that she does everything with, but I'm like, I didn't I need to get accustomed to them. So as you can see, we've done something really fun on Minahil. I really wanted to you do like a pop of color because like I said, you always see her in very neutral, soft, very natural makeup. I thought it'd be fun to do a look that still is in that zone. So if you notice, it's not taking over her features. It's not like I've put thick lashes and completely taken over. I'm just having some fun with like a messy blue, um, you know, eye that we've done on her, complemented by that lip. I know that glowy skin, uh, like soft waves on the hair so this is a really fun look she could maybe wear um, out in the day if she really wanted to go all out and now I'm going to show you how we're going to transform her uh, same makeup look for the night so now Minahil's change into her sari blouse will be showing you the outfit in the end so I'm going to now transition this look for the night right so I'm going to take off her lipstick we took some off while she was changing I'm going to show you how I'm going to transition this so that she can wear this look for say a wedding. Remember when we used to go to weddings and life was normal? 
Having said that, a lot of people are still going to weddings. This is true. Right? So much hasn't changed for some people, but please stay home, wear masks. If you do have to go, please take all precautions. And get vaccinated. Yes, please everybody get vaccinated. Um, it's not even, I don't even want to say it anymore. It's like just a logical thing to do now. Uh, but I realized that uh, logic sometimes is, uh, you know, it's hard to, common sense is not so common. Let's just say that, right? So, but I, I'm hoping everyone's getting vaccinated. I'm just going to now use some concealer on her lip to mute that down. Right, and now if you notice on her sari and the sitaras, you they ha, there is this tinge of almost like a bluish kind of color that comes in as well, right? So we're gonna say she's a busy woman, which she is. Mina is running around. You don't have time, I'm sure, to like take leisurely time to I change yeah. and like you know do your thing. So you want it to be easy, right? Like even for me, if I'm going somewhere at night, I tend to just transition my makeup and I don't take it off and put it on all over again. So I'm gonna take some of this pearly color from the same Mothership palette. And I'm gonna start by applying it, adding it rather, to under the eye, right? And now I'm gonna take some of this dark brown and I'm gonna take my number 11 again. So we're gonna take the dark brown from this palette, close in our home, and I'm gonna start creating some of the brown kind of darkness here. So we're trying to mute this blue a little bit. I am so intrigued about this process. <laughs> Changing of eye makeup. I mean, yeah, because you need to have the sense to know what you're doing. Doing, yeah, okay, I guess. And now you're teaching everyone to have that sense <laughs> yes. of knowing. So, I mean, there's so much to learn, right? And online now you have so much content, especially during Corona. I feel people really, it was so great to see everybody come out and sh teach people something. So whether you were teaching a banana bread or you were teaching someone how to do an eye makeup look, I think people were coming out and sharing. And I think now the digital space, like I feel like that's what we were talking about. I think schools and colleges are going to be in the future. There's so much education that you can just have from online, right? Open. So can you see how that blue is now becoming slightly more muted and darker so i'm going to keep blending my brown on top to transition this a little bit into a more a slightly different like darker eye for nighttime open just here also i'm just going to run this brown slightly under her eye now i'm going to take some of the black from the same palette in the tati palette here and i'm going to go towards the roots of her lash again Open. Say if I was doing it at home, yeah. yeah. Would I need to put something under my eye to... Um, I think, okay, so I realize that I'm now a professional makeup artist. So some people are like, okay, she's not applying any kind of a shield or anything. No, you don't need it. Yeah. But I know that I would. would definitely so need I it. Would so I would put some I... like translucent powder. I would dust that under my eye. Okay. So if anything falls, then you can just brush it off. It doesn't like catch on your face okay. as such. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's something to do that you could potentially do or another option is to put a tissue right under the eye so you would take like a tissue like this in your mm -hmm. hand and, and you would keep, keep it under it. while you're doing your eye makeup so I, I think the reason why a lot of us don't play with the color home is because we're really afraid afraid of what, of what goes happen. down yeah, yeah. Of what would happen under you get panda eyes. eyes correct so i'm going to take now this color which is like, again, a sandy brown. And now I'm gonna to go towards the edges. And if you notice, now this is turning into a bit of a smoky eye. And we're getting rid of that blue from the top. We're gonna to leave hints of it like under her eye. So we know we've transitioned there. But otherwise I'm just blending it so that we're getting rid of that electric blue on top of her eye. So if open, and if you just turn around, look into the mirror, also Minahil yourself, you'll start noticing that it's becoming more smoky yeah. as opposed to blue, close. But at the same time, there's no wiping happening, etc. You're just transitioning it, just turn this way, right? Now I'm gonna take a dry bud. So everybody should just have buds always in their makeup kit because they're so helpful. 
and just on the inner corner of her eye I'm going to take off some of the blue with just this bud so I'm going to blend it take off even under a little bit I'm going to just soften it with my bud only to leave a hint of that color but not in the way that it was in the day look so when you have both the looks go side by side you'll be like okay now this looks like a different eye because it's a nighttime look and I'm doing a smoky eye I'm going to go in now with the black track gel eyeliner look up right so that immediately adds intensity and also makes you tear up a little bit deep breath so i was telling minahil it i don't know what it is psychologically but every time a bride of mine is tearing up i'm like breathe right so i'm going to go back in now with the brown and a little bit of the black i'm using a pencil brush up minahil i'm just going to now talk on that outer corner now turn this way up again close and i'm also just going to go into her corner here and blend that up again Right, and now I'm going to take my Pat McGrath palette again. You don't have to necessarily use the same colors. You can get the same kind of tones in different palettes. And I'm going to use this metallic-y, like almost yellowy green color here. Up again, and I'm going to up mix that under where I've applied a little bit of the blue. So we're trying to catch the color of her blouse. As you can see, I've wiped nothing off her. We didn't wipe anything off. We've just kind of blend it, enhance and switch that makeup about and there's still going to be that hint of blue showing through which like I said makes sense because that sitara on her blouse has that. So now I'm going to dust her under eye a little bit so to freshen up the under eye and usually after a day it's always the under eye, this area, nose area that tends to get a little smudgy etc. So I'm going to take, go back in with the 40WY that we applied on her earlier and I'm going to take some 50WY and I'm just going to blend those two colors and go under the eye here and take my sponge and I'm going to dab that mixture here under her eye just to freshen up. So what I love about sometimes blending eye makeup on just to like another eye makeup and creating a look is that you still have hints of that older eye makeup showing through. So if you look closely and she moves around, there'll still be that hint of the blue that was on her eye and with all these colors mixed on top, it's become a completely different look and feel. Just blending that, going near the sides of her nose, around her mouth. Like I said, these are usually the places that need a little bit of a touch up after a long day. So I'm just now pushing my sponge all over her face to just blend anything that needs blending. Now let's go to lining her lip. And I'm going to go back in with my spice again. Stretch your lip, is there a little So I've applied spice all over her lip now and I'm applying Myth by MAC. This is another one of my all-time favorites because it's such a versatile color. You can put it on top of pretty much any color to soften it, to make it paler. I also like wearing it on its own. Like here, I'm just going to make the lipstick. It's a spice and meher combination by MAC, which I love. This is beautiful color. So, stretch. Look here a little bit. 
And this is another thing everybody ends up doing when you put lipstick, they do. But we don't, yeah. no. I'm pretty sure even when you've got your makeup done for me, I tell everybody, don't, don't do that. But before I can even say it, everybody's like, Already done it? Yeah. Because yeah. you're used to it, right? Yeah, so That's I what. Gave some instructions. Okay. Because I know that a lot of makeup artists actually ask us to do it. Do it, yeah. They say, Kare. And then Achana. some say, Nahi karna. Nahi karna. So I just, I just wait. wait to be told. Yeah. So we've applied that lip there. And now I'm going to apply some powder just under her eye again as I did prior, also because Minahil has just normal skin, it doesn't produce too much oil, etc. So just applying some of that. I'm gonna go in with Orgasm Blush by NARS, Smile. Just blend that on top. Her skin's already done. So we're just freshening it up without throwing brushes around. <laughs> so clumsy. Smile, just a face, with a face brush. Blending that on top. And now we're just gonna go back in with our mascara. Look up. And also freshen up our brows and make them a tad bit darker because it's nighttime and we can go a little more dramatic. So I'm just gonna use the same brown from the palette here. Right, and now I'm gonna go in once with my black crack on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to close in a, just near the base of her eye again. I'm just going to smudge that a little bit. Like I said on her eye, I'm going to avoid eyeliner. This is just a nice way of adding definition without like a stark eyeliner. Open an eye, look down. Open again. Sorry. Open again. Down. So in the inner corner also. Just going to blend that in. Just blending anything, any fallout that's happened. So now I'm going to take this champagne color shadow here on my finger and I'm just going to apply it as like a center highlight on her lip. My shadow is a great kind of way to add like color to your lip. People underestimate using it as a lipstick as well, but I love using it as a lipstick. So just highlight that lip there. So as you can see, we've transformed that day look into a night look. Uh, we didn't remove the eye makeup. It was more about blending, you know, transforming. You can still see hints of that blue on her eye, but now it's become more of a smokier eye, a pale lip. So I hope I've shown you how to transition a look. We all have busy lives. We don't have time to take off makeup and then transition, especially as busy mothers, uh, working women, uh, which is what Minahil is, the uh, epitome of, you know, she juggles so many things. She's also a mother. Um, you want to go quick, 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 quick. So I hope I've taught that to you guys today. Looking forward to seeing you guys for a lot more content. Please keep liking, sharing and subscribing. Keep giving me your suggestions and keep following us. We have so much to bring to you very soon. Looking forward to seeing you again.